What's up guys? Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Chris. I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and then we're going to get out to the video. What's up everybody? It's me, Chris. This is a two-fold video, so if you're watching this on the Taylor Kydex Solutions page, it's Chris from TKS, go ahead and check out my other YouTube channel, Riding Dad. If you're watching this on the Riding Dad page, it's Chris, father, husband, Riding Dad. Go check out my holster page, Taylor Kydex Solutions. Okay, so for both channels, a couple things new. Uh, I have a microphone now. If you're on the Riding Dad page, I got a two-pack and I'm gonna try and put one into my helmet so it'll make my motor vlogs a little bit clearer. But everything like this, any product reviews or anything, will 100% have this microphone. So let me know how you like it. Uh, Taylor Kydex Solutions viewers, same. I have the microphone now and this is actually all shot on my iPhone because it's the easiest interface with the mic and it has the best quality out of all of my cameras so the video quality on these iphones is crazy right now so as the title suggests this is going to be a how to conceal carry on a motorcycle uh, for those of you who don't know i have a 2019 harley davidson fat bob 107 and going to talk about some ways to conceal carry on that bike today okay so the first is going to be with a glock 43 uh, all guns have been cleared safety checked no magazine in the magwell and all holsters are going to be ones that i've made so glock 43 very small only only size i would carry nothing bigger uh, this or smaller on a three o'clock uh, standard iwb so pros and cons to this pros it's on you when you're riding cons it sometimes can get uncomfortable and it will print a little bit uh, especially if you do smaller back i do not recommend smaller back at all for riding a motorcycle for those of you who don't ride or have only ridden like cruisers where you really lean back the minute you lean forward or especially if you're on a sport bike a dual sport any kind of adventure scramblers anything like that you're if you're not wearing a jacket or if you're wearing a really thin jacket the rear of your shirt will start to flap in the wind sometimes uh, especially on like a sport bike if you're hunched over your shirt will come up to your uh, your tit line a little bit so glock 43 i would carry it on the side of the bat on the side of the hips it's hot in this garage i'm, I'm getting dehydrated so uh, being that it's so small, I would always carry a backup mag with this. I have a Terran Tactical extension on this. It's either three or four, plus three or four. I, honestly, I, I can't remember right now. So throw this in my pocket on my riding jacket. So that's one way. IWB, three o'clock. Like I said, I would not. This is not my preferred method of carry. I'll tell you what my preferred is when we get to it. The other thing you can do with a small gun like the 43 is use a belly band. So this is just a cheap Amazon belly band. It's kind of a neoprene. Uh, it does have the snap, which I like for motorcycle use. I, I'll use this about 50% of the time. Uh, it's Comfort Tech. I just got this on Amazon. So a lot of times with belly bands, it'll be like your typical, like around your belly and it'll be three o'clock. Uh, that is not how I use a belly band on a motorcycle. I will put it up kind of like a shoulder cross draw kind of thing and it'll sit right almost under my arm uh, it doesn't get in the way of leaning if you want to lean the bike over and if you're wearing a jacket especially if any kind of shirt like this unzip the jacket halfway reach through the shirt if you need to like worst case scenario um, 
Let me also mention that none of these are concealed carry that I would say, you know, if someone pulls up at a light, you know, you can grab it while you're on the bike and all that. This, none of that is ideal or even safe. I mean, you're putting yourself, you're taking a hand off the bike, two hands, depending on what you're doing. Uh, these are, I just stopped at a stoplight. I'm in a parking lot, I'm parking, I need to leave my bike, I'm running errands, I don't have saddlebags on my bike, I don't wanna leave the stuff in the bag, on the bike, in a backpack, any of that. This is on body carry solutions. Um, that way you don't have to worry about not having a gun with you when you get on and off your bike, if you're going to a bike meet, if you're going out to dinner, any of that kind of stuff. So let me go ahead and get my riding jacket and I'll show you how I carry with a belly, with the belly band uh, in my kind of armpit area. Let me do some YouTube magic. Whoa, okay. As if it wasn't hot enough in this garage in the Florida heat, got my jacket on. Okay. Belly band is on with the Glock 43. Without, I would never carry this way without a jacket. Uh, let me preface that by saying I almost always wear my jacket. There's very, very rare occasions where I don't. I try to be very good about it. I try to wear my jacket all the time. So if you like, side note, if you like you know, product reviews or seeing what I wear and all that, you know, motorcycle stuff, go ahead and hop on over to Riding Dad. If you're already on Riding Dad and you're a subscriber and you're watching this, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, so not terrible when you're just walking around or whatever, it prints a little bit, at least on me. Uh, I know most people belly bands print unless they, you know, have it at actual three o'clock or maybe even appendix style carry like under gym shorts or something like that when they're jogging. I've done that before. Um, so, it prints a lot when the wind is coming at your shirt. So that's why I would say jacket. Um, the jacket, being a jacket, pretty much hides all lines of concealment, like any kind of printing. So that works really well for this style of carry. Uh, the f pros, you can carry about any size gun in this. Uh, I find that anything over 43 size, like Glock 43 or Shield, anything like that, even the XDSs or anything like that, um, gets a little bit uncomfortable for me. It starts to feel, you know, it, I feel it on my under my arm, I feel it on my skin. So the Glock 43 hides itself pretty well. It just kind of feels like the bottom of my stomach is hanging out, if that makes sense. If you have a belly band, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It feels like you're kind of squished up here, nice and fit and tone, and then the bottom is just kind of there. So I would just zip up my jacket, and that's that. The, the pro to this, if I, God forbid, I really needed to, I can unzip my jacket halfway or even ride with it about quarter, halfway unzip sometimes if I, it's really hot, that's what I do. And if I'm wearing a button down shirt, I can either leave a button undone or just like a snap shirt, unsnap or even just unbutton it and get to it if I really, really needed to. Other than that, it's on me. Nobody knows it's on me. If depending on what kind of shirt I'm wearing, I can take my jacket off, leave it on the bike, leave it somewhere and still have that on me and not have to worry about taking that out of a backpack when I get someplace. So I carry this this way about probably about 50% of the time. Um, if I'm not going anywhere, like if I'm just taking a ride at night, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that, this is pretty much the only, this is how I will carry almost all of the time when I'm doing that. Um, if I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna carry the next way I'm gonna show you. So let me go ahead and get this hot thing off of me. I'll get the next gun and the next form of carry. All right, that was super quick for you guys. So the next gun I have is a, this is actually kind of a weird gun. So this is a Glock 19, which is a compact size, holds 15 round stock. Uh, it's a Glock 19, however, I grip chopped it to 26 length. So from here to here would be a 26, which is a subcompact, and from here to here is a 19. If you're on my Ride and Dad channel and you want to learn more about holsters and guns and stuff, head over to my Taylor Kotick Solutions page. Go ahead and give that a subscription and a bell icon, and you'll see more stuff about my holsters and some gun stuff that I do here and there too. So this specific holster is a appendix, but it can be done with any sort of a holster, even like a Uncle Bikes or like a sticky holster or anything like that. Um, anything that holds a gun. Kydex is best. Kydex is best X. Um, my opinion, so. Not really sure what you would call this. Uh, it's kind of like a leg purse. My wife hates it, says it looks terrible. 
Uh, my buddy who I've ridden with before says it looks stupid. He calls it some words that I'm not going to uh, say on YouTube for <sighs> reasons that you can imagine. I saw this first as an ad on YouTube and I was watching some motorcycle videos uh, and I went to the site and it was like 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. So I went on Amazon and I got the knockoff brand. They have a ton of them. Uh, I think you can look as like thigh carrier or thigh pouch or motorcycle knapsack, any, get creative with it. This specific brand looks like it's a, a low lail UD, A-L-L-D-X-L-30. I think this brand had a bunch of them. So, um, it's supposed to be able to fit some sort of tablet in this main pocket. And then you got the main pocket, which is the only thing I'm concerned about. I have yet to exert the time and effort, uh, but I want to someday, hopefully before I retire, and get a full sheet of Kydex and kind of cut it. You know, you could do this with cardboard, poster board, a sheet of metal if you're a metal fabricator, really anything, but fit it for the whole interior size of this and then put velcro on the back of that and i would put velcro on the holster that way once i put the holster in there the holster is velcroed there and if i need to just unzip it and draw the gun i don't have to worry about the holster coming out and pushing the holster okay so i keep my wallet in this bottom part that way i don't have anything on my pockets or anything like that and then i keep the gun in this bottom part so when I'm riding, I will fully zip everything. It comes stock with this little Velcro, which after about 25, 30 miles an hour, not good enough. Um, so I went to Walmart and for like $1.25 and some home ec eighth grade skills, I sewed these little clips to each side. And that way when the wind catches it, it, uh, it doesn't flap open. So this is what I wear when I'm going to events. If I'm going to a bike night, if I'm going, like I know me and my wife took uh, the bike to the movies one time, and I took this so I can carry a little bit of a bigger gun, given the history of movie theaters that we're in right now, um, and comfort. So didn't take a backpack that day or anything like that. If we're going to the movies, I'd be okay taking a small backpack, just keep it in the seat or like on my stomach in front of me, like whatever. Anyway, uh, when so like I said, fully zipped, buckled when I'm riding. When I get somewhere, uh, you can. I usually don't, but uh, you can leave this unzipped and just Velcroed. That way if you need to get it, all it is is a smooth little unvelcro, and you got the gun. Uh, I keep it zipped, but unbuckled. So all I'd have to do is unvelcro, zipper, and grab the gun. It's not super fast, but you can carry uh, probably about a full size, depends what kind of gun you have. A full size 19 without the grip chop would fit on it. Uh, I have a full size 19 that I'm gonna bring out in a little bit. Um, really depends on what size pouch you get too. So the way this works, you just kind of wear it as a belt. So you'd wear that under your shirt, obviously, because you don't want to look like a dweeb. And I am stuck somewhere. Okay, I'm unstuck now. You know what? Skip to where I've got this figured out. Voila, it's done. So I understand this is not the most aesthetically pleasing way to carry. Um, you can say that as soon as somebody sees that, they'll be like, oh, he's got a gun. And I would strongly disagree with you because before I started carrying, before I really even knew these were a possibility or even thought about it, I've seen bikers walk into a Harley dealership, walk into my local power sports, wearing something like this, more leathery. Um, but I've seen people have these, and the first thing I think is it looks dumb, which I, I understand. Uh, so that's one thing I think of. And then the other thing I think of is just, you know, they got a lot of stuff that apparently they needed that to, to carry. So it has a leg ring as well, so it's not gonna fly off you. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's comfortable while riding. You don't really feel it at all. With these buckles, you don't worry about it opening uh, like it does with the stock Velcro. And you can put other stuff in here. You can put a small med kit. You can put a tourniquet in here. Uh, I'm not going to get into other things I carry when I'm riding. That's maybe a different video. This is just strictly ways to conceal carry. But you can put a med kit. You can put a tourniquet. You can put two, three tourniquets. If you don't conceal carry, but you want to have a med kit on you, God forbid, you know, say you're going on a ride for 
six, seven hours, you're going on a group ride or whatever, and you're either not old enough to carry or you just don't want to carry for whatever reason, people get hurt on motorcycles all the time. Put a trauma kit in here. Put a tourniquet, hemostatic gauze, um, gauze, not gauze, um, chest seals, you know, anything. Put a battery bag, you know, it's just a good kind of storage thing. So, like I said, my wife hates the way it looks. Um, she laughs at me. My buddy laughs at me. Uh, I know this is not the best looking way to carry a gun on a motorcycle but if you're already married so you don't have to worry about impressing new people and or you don't care what other people think or you're wearing a helmet the whole time and you're not stopping anywhere and no one's going to see you this might be a good choice for you so on to the last form of carrying i'm gonna go grab it get this guy off so you guys don't have to look at it anymore and i'll be right back all right we've made it to the last form of carrying, the piece de resistance. Appendix, good old fashioned appendix. Uh, I used to carry like this before I got the belly band, before I got the little fanny pack for your thigh. Um, I used to carry like this. For me, it is not super comfortable. I think for sport bike riders, this is not a good option. I think for cruiser riders and possibly dual sport adventure bike, I think this might be a good option depending on your weight level uh, and just depending on you know what kind of riding you're doing. For those of you who don't know what appendix carry is, it basically sits, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it'll sit between your 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock position pretty much. Uh, traditionally more centered. For me, right-handed, I wear, if you're thinking on a clock, about a 1230-ish between 12 and one. I never really go past one. Um, appendix holsters, if they're done correctly, will have some form of claw or bumper to push the frame back into the body to reduce in printing. So uh, this being the best quality holster known to existence and mankind as we know it, a Taylor Kotick Solutions product, has a claw. Uh, it has adjustable sizes. Like I said, if you're interested in holster stuff and you're not on, if you're not and you're not watching this on the Taylor Kotick Solutions page, go ahead and head over there. I highlight a lot of different holsters. Now that I have the mic and a little bit of camera set up, I have a gimbal that I just purchased as well now too. So uh, between all that, I'm going to really try hard and put out more content on both these pages. But I've really slacked on the holster page because. How many times can I post something about plastic that I've posted a bunch of times before? So I'm kind of running out of ideas on that. But I got some new ones. I got some fresh ones coming up. Uh, and I'm glad I was able to do this video and kind of tie both of my worlds together. Both my hobby relaxing world and my hustle in the other room of the house that has terrible AC. So This is a Glock 19. Um, for you gun guys, it's got a Magpul. Magwell, a Trigicon, RMR, Red Dot, Suppressor Height Sights, I believe they're Ameriglows. Uh, it's got uh, work done by Mod K in Fort Myers, Florida. Barrel porting from Mod K. There's a whole video on this gun, by the way, uh, the barrel porting on my Taylor Kotick Solutions page if you're not already there. If you are there and you're just seeing this and you haven't seen that video, go, go, go check it out. Go check it out. Jeez, I'm dehydrated, folks and a TLR HL Streamlight Light. A, I wanna say this is a Vickers, I'm pretty sure. A Vickers Mag release and a Vickers, again, I'm pretty sure it's Vickers uh, slide release. And a full agency arms trigger kit. No different springs, just the trigger kit from, I'm sorry, not agency arms, whew, I butchered that. Apex Tactical. Apex are, uh, are my go-to for a lot of stuff. Apex and Magpul and Trigicon are kind of my <sighs> trifecta of perfection on guns. So, and uh, TKS holster. So, this would sit about here and it would be tilted in. So the reason why I say for sport bike riders this is not a good option is because you're way more hunched over. Your stomach, especially if you're a little, uh, little, uh, Let's just say uh, I'm big boned. If you're a big boned in your stomach area, like me, uh, when you're leaning over on that tank, your waist, your midsection tends to kind of rest on that tank depending on how low you're crouched over. A gun would be bad for that. Uh, one, you're gonna wind up 
possibly denting. I don't think you dent it through your clothes, but it's just not good to have that constant contact. It put a lot of unneeded extra pressure on your pelvic area and your hips as well, having this pushed into you. So, but if you're a cruiser, this might be a really good way to, to carry. The con is this is probably going to print well, it's a 50-50. It's probably gonna print the most because it's right dead center and if you have no fairing or if you have any kind of wind flow at all and you're just wearing a shirt or like a really light jacket, it's obviously gonna print because that, that shirt is getting sucked into all crevices of your body in the beginning or in the front of your body. It's the first thing the wind is hitting. So if you are on like a sport glide, or not a sport glide, a, uh, well, I guess a sport glide too, but I'm talking like big baggers like touring like a street glide, road glide, um, ultra glide anything like that, anything that says glide, uh, anything like that, you're having a reduced wind flow. If you sit more in the bike instead of on top of the bike and you're kind of concealed from normal line of vision from people, you might get away with it too. However, if you're wearing a jacket, which I recommend obviously, um, safety conscious adults and, and minors, juveniles, but I don't really think anyone under 18 is gonna be watching this video. So. If, you, uh, if you're wearing a jacket, this will conceal pretty much fine, if not better than anything else. So uh, the pros, one, I love appendix carry. Uh, if you don't know, check my Instagram out for Taylor Caddick Solutions and or my YouTube page if you're not already there. Uh, I do not talk poorly about appendix really ever. I spew a ton of good things about appendix. This is my preferred way to carry all the time, uh, all day, every day. Uh, multiple different styles, guns, whatever. Um, I've concealed a full size, like a Glock 17 size before, in appendix, just fine, very comfortable. You can conceal a lot bigger guns in appendix than you can uh, any other form of carry, on body carry. So uh, enough about that, because this is not what this video is about. Anyway, appendix, uh, like I said, I don't really carry like this anymore because there's other forms that are more comfortable and easier for me to carry. So if you don't have a belly band, if you don't have a thigh pack, whatever, and you want to carry something, but you have a jacket or something, this is probably a better way to go than a traditional three o'clock carry. Uh, and I would, not only would I not recommend small of the back like I touched on earlier, but I would recommend not, I would recommend anything but uh, small of the back. If you have a holster that can do small of the back, that means your holster can do three o'clock regular strong side hip carry as well. Um, so like I said, I, I highly, highly recommend staying away from a small of the back in general, but way more on a motorcycle. So, all right, trying to keep this video a little bit short. That's it. So I hope the audio was really good on this. I hope the quality uh, on my iPhone, it should shoot better quality. Uh, it has the ability for 4K, but my video editing software does not even have the ability to do 2K. Uh, so it's shooting in 1080, I believe it's 1080 or 1440, I can't remember right now, um, but 30 frames a second. So it should be a little bit smoother. Like I said the microphone should be pretty good quality for you. If you wanna know more about the bike, if you wanna see my initial review or a, uh, a dyno of it before anything is done to it. Again, it's a 2019. I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Woo! So it's a 2019 Harley Davidson Fat Bob 107 Milwaukee engine. Right now it's stock, but I have big plans for it. So if you're not on the Ride and Dad page and you have any kind of interest in bicycles, or if you like seeing this beautiful, handsome face of mine, go ahead and head over to the Ride and Dad page. So that's about it. Any questions, please, whichever uh, channel you are on, if it's about the holsters or the, the bikes, it's just me. So I will respond equally to either of them. If you're on my motorcycle page, you got a question of what holsters I offer or anything like that. Um, I'm also gonna post the website to Taylor Caddick Solutions, my holster company, on the Ride and Dad page. So if you're on that page and you, you want to see my company website, go ahead and just scroll down and give it a left click or a touch if you're on a phone. Um, you'll see everything that I have to offer. So lots more videos coming out, guys. I enjoy connecting with you on my holster and my motorcycle page. So leave comments, go ahead and set subscribe, hit subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. So if you're on my Ride and Dad page, have fun. Ride safe, and I'll see you guys later. If you're on my Taylor, Taylor, 
Ooh, if you're on my Taylor Kydex Solutions page, happy holstering and be safe also. And I will see all you guys on the next video.